Hello yogis, welcome to our Tower Yoga YouTube channel. My name is Brittany and today we're going to be focusing on the six fundamental movements of the spine. This is a class for all levels, I'll give options. And basically we're just gonna get our spine moving. This is our source of vitality. This keeps us young and youthful, keeps us able to move and groove and do the day-to-day -day activities that keep our quality of life happy and healthy. So let's begin with a little bit of breath work and mindfulness. If you have a cushion, take a seat, find your yoga mat, and let's get started. Find a comfortable posture. And I want you to imagine as if there was a wall right behind your back. You're just gonna gently lean back as if you're pressing the spine against the wall and imagine stretching up. How long can your spine lengthen up towards the ceiling or sky? Let your chin lower down a little bit more towards your chest and let the back of your neck lengthen. Relax your jaw, relax your shoulders. Let's start to take some deeper breaths in using our diaphragm to inhale. And slowly press all the stale air out of your lungs. Let's do that again. You can bring your hand on your belly if that helps you breathe. Big belly inhale, diaphragm drops down. Exhale, slowly press it out. If you're feeling a little anxious, if your mind's a little busy, that's okay. We'll do something to help you out. Let's take one more deep diaphragmatic breath in. And a nice slow exhale, maybe out the mouth. And we're coming into box breath now. Go ahead and start to inhale for four, three, two, one, hold your breath for four, three, two, one, slow exhale for four, three, two, one, hold again at the bottom, four, three, two, one, again, inhale, hold, exhale, Inhale slowly, take the full four counts to breathe in. When you hold your breath, soften your shoulders, soften the collarbones. As you breathe out slowly, use your core muscles to press. And at the bottom, hold, soften the throat, soften the face. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Final round, breathing in, hold, exhale, hold, take a deep breath in and let it all go. Give a little shimmy, give a little shake, wiggle through your spine. And I want you to just bring your awareness to the vertebra of your back, all the way from the base of your skull down to the bottom of your tailbone. Bring your hands onto your knees for me. And let's start to circle our torso over our hips, slowly making a circle. This can be big or small. This can be a little spicy. You can add the ribs in. And then see if you can synchronize your breath, maybe inhaling as you come forward, maybe exhaling as you drop back. And this should feel good in your body. So find a sensation where you feel this gentle stretch, this gentle movement and awakening. And the next time you come forward on the inhale, switch other direction, exhale. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Let's take two more circles. Final one. Bring it around and 
and come back to a nice neutral spine. If at any point your legs are uncomfortable in this position, you can switch to kneeling. You can even stretch one or even both legs out to the side. Listen to your body. So let's get into those six fundamental movements of the spine. Let's start with our arms down by our hips. And on your next in breath, circle your arms up. Big stretch overhead. And as you exhale, I'm gonna come down over towards the right, dropping my fingers to the floor and shrugging my shoulder up. We're gonna side bend, reaching, arching up and over. Think of bringing the left rib cage and lift it up towards the ceiling. Maybe you can roll your shoulder back a little bit and try to anchor both sit bones in your seat. Let's take a deep breath in and out. One more time, deep breath in and out. Use the strength of your core to lift you up. Deep inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, coming down to the left, lower the fingers. Notice if this side feels any different, it's okay if it does. Shrug that shoulder up, feel length under the shoulder, under the scapula, and anchor through your right sit bone. Let's take a deep breath in and maybe peel that shoulder back a little bit. Settling in, energy reaching up and out through the fingers. Let's take one more inhale. And exhale. Let the next breath in bring you up. Stretch for the ceiling. As you exhale, let's twist to your right. Turn and start to look over your right shoulder. Let your right hand find the floor behind your back. And then create space for your heart to lift up through the arms and turn the chin. Look behind you. Try to keep your seat rooted in your seat, in your bolster or block or on the floor. Try not to shift in your legs, but see if your belly button can hug in towards your spine and up towards your heart. Let's take another inhale here. As you exhale, gently twist from the belly button up as if you're wringing water out of a towel. Let's take one more inhale and exhale. Slowly pause at the end of that exhale and release your twist. Both arms circle up, deep breath in. Exhale, twist to your left. Let the right arm cross over, left hand behind the spine. Puff your chest on the breath in. Turn and look behind you on the breath out. Stay anchored in your seat. Lift up tall through your spine and pull your navel in towards the back and up towards the heart. Inhaling a little taller. Exhale, twisting from the belly button up. Let's take one more breath here in and out. The end of the exhale, release your twist. Inhale, arms sweep forward this time, coming all the way up. And as you exhale, find cactus arms coming wide with the elbows, open the collarbones and start to draw your shoulder blades a little closer together. Lift your heart. Imagine like you're about to get beamed up. <laughs> Lift and lengthen through the skin in your belly. Open the front of your throat. And as you exhale, slowly close the chest. See if you can connect your elbows into one another, maybe rounding forward and down. Let's repeat that motion. Inhale, arching back. Exhale, rounding forward. Inhale, arching back. And then imagine you're sliding your arms down a wall. Go ahead and shake out your arms. So we just moved through the six fundamental movements of the spine. We did our side bends, we did our twists, and we did our arching forward and back. So those are the six fundamental movements. Think of how many ways we can apply that to our yoga practice. So now let's make it a little bit more core intensive for the body and a little bit faster. Interlace your fingers and bring them behind your head. Take an inhale and really open up the front of the body. As you exhale, let's start to go over towards the left first this time. Inhale, lift up through center. Exhale, bend over to the right. Try to keep the elbows wide. Inhale, up through center. 
As you exhale, let's twist to the left. Inhale back to center. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale back to center. Exhale, dive forward. Maybe your elbows close in. You might even be able to touch them to the floor. Push into the feet. Inhale, come up. Exhale, pull your belly button in to protect your lower back as we arch back. Lift the heart. Inhale, up. Lower the arms. Shake it out. Shake your head no. Shake your head yes. And let's get moving a little bit more. Let's remove any bolster or block that you have underneath your seat. We're gonna make our way to tabletop. Find yourself in the center of your yoga mat, planting your hands directly under your shoulders and your hips directly under your knees. Let's take a deep inhale and move through our cat cows. So exhale, pull your belly button in, just getting a nice strong core. On the next inhale, lower the belly. Keep it engaged as your heart shines through the arms, head and tail lift. Exhale, press the floor away. Look towards your belly button, tuck your tail, push the floor away. Again, inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat. Inhale, neutral spine. Exhale, bring your shoulder towards your hip on one side. Create a C shape in your spine. And then inhale, inflate back to neutral. Exhale, C shape the opposite way, side bending. Inhale, back to neutral. As you exhale, let's take our right palm, bringing it directly underneath our face. Start to push down through the floor on the exhale. On the next inhale, trace the fingers up the inner arm, across the heart center, and let your arm radiate out from the heart. Activate your back muscles to pull your shoulders a little bit closer together, finding this nice open twist. Let's take a deep inhale and a deep exhale. Thread the needle, bringing your left arm all the way down. You can internally rotate your right arm to better support your weight here and see if you can bring your ear to listen to the earth. See if you can listen as if someone's speaking very quietly just under the floor. Let's take a nice inhale, center your hips between your knees. Exhale, push the floor away. Let the inhale bring you out, reverse, big open twist. And exhale, lower down. Circling the hand back to the floor, this time taking it to center. Fingers are internally rotated a little bit under the face. Right fingers trace the inseam of the arm. Opening from your heart, find your twist. Take a deep inhale and activate the muscles on your back, maybe opening a little more. As you exhale, thread the needle, bending your left arm. See if you can listen to the floor. You might need to slide out to create a little bit more space, lengthen the neck. And stay here for a nice breath in and a nice breath out. Center your hips between your knees. Inhale. Start to push the floor away on the exhale. Inhale, open twist one more time to exit. Exhale, bring the right hand down. Good job, yogis. We did it again. Six fundamental movements of the spine. Let's take it to standing now. Toes tuck under, inhale, cow pose. Keep this gentle sway in the lower back as you exhale, lift the knees, shift up and back to downward facing dog. You can center yourself in the middle of the mat if we got a little off there. Take a deep breath in, just feel all of that length through the back of the legs. And as you exhale, drive your hips up and back as much as you can. Push your shoulders towards your ears, belly in nice and strong and push the breath out. On the next inhale, let's come up to standing. We'll come onto our tippy toes, bend our knees, and step forward. Push all the air out of your lungs. On the next inhale, lift up halfway, shift the weight into your toes. Exhale, forward fold. As you inhale, big circling of the arms up to standing. 
Exhale, palms through heart center. Arms lower to the side. Let's get into some sun sals and we'll add a little bit of spinal spice. So check your posture. Imagine that wall behind you. Shoulders roll back. Lengthen through the back of your neck and feel your belly button pull in towards your spine and up towards your heart. On the next breath in, circle the arms overhead. Big stretch. As you exhale, swan dive down, hinging at the hips, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway, look forward. Exhale, plant the hands, step back to plank. You can bring the knees down for this, but we're gonna come into chaturanga, leaning forward, elbows over wrists, coming down nice and slow. Inhale, move through your cobra. Elbows squeeze in. And exhale, press the body back up to plank. Inhale, down dog. Exhale, settle. Now on your next inhale, balance on your left foot. Lift your right leg up high to three-legged dog. As you exhale, step your right foot forward between the hands, balancing on the ball of your left foot. Push through the leg, inhale, high crescent lunge. Exhale, settle. Now from here, we're gonna play with adding a little movement. So inhale, stretch a little longer. Square the hips. As you exhale, let your right hand start to circle back. Left hand reaches forward and see if you can create this long line of energy between your two palms. Let's take one more inhale here and exhale. Inhale, both arms come up. Now I want you to grab onto your left wrist. Really reach that left hand up, grab the wrist and side bend over to the right. Let the entire left half of your body get really long. Let's take an inhale and an exhale. Inhale, come through center. See if we can take this nice arch. And as you exhale, reach forward. Let your belly find your thigh. Hands come down and we step to forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway, lean into the toes. Exhale, forward fold. Circle the arms up, big stretch. Inhale. Coming right back down, forward fold on the exhale. Lift halfway again, leaning forward. Exhale, plant the hands and step back to plank. As you inhale, shift your weight forward. Option to bring the knees down, exhale lower. Try to keep your elbows over your wrists. Inhale, low cobra. Exhale, press to plank. Inhale, down dog. Exhale, settle in. On the next inhale, balance on your right foot. Left leg lifts up high, three-legged dog. As you exhale, step your left foot through. Balance on the ball of your right toes. Inhale, up to high crescent lunge. Exhale, settle. Square the hips. Inhale, get a little longer. Shrug your shoulders up towards your ears. And as you exhale, take your left hand and start to open it back. Turn your chest to face the left wall. Shine your palms forward and stretch. Shoulders over hips. Let's take an inhale and an exhale. You can still look forward if you're feeling shaky. Inhale, arms come up. Grab onto your right wrist now and exhale, bend to the side over towards that left wall. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, release. Inhale, both arms stretch up. Take a nice little back arch. And as you exhale, reach forward and down. Step forward to forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle the arms up, big stretch. Exhale, palms through heart center, arms lower to the side. Shake it out, yogis. That's something that you can put this video on pause, you can rewind it, you can do as many rounds of that specific flow as you like. If you're feeling a little extra spicy, do it four times on each side and you will have a nice glistening sweat going on your body. But for now, we're gonna come into cool down. We're gonna keep it short and sweet today. 
Um, I hope that you feel inspired of how you can apply these six fundamental movements of the spine to your personal practice and maybe some of the postures that you're already playing with. Any of these standing postures, we can twist, we can side bend, we can arch, we can fold to take care of our spine. So just plant your feet underneath you. Let's find our Tadasana and we're gonna take a standing variation of these movements, nice and slow. Let's take a deep inhale, arms rise up. As you exhale, let's grab our left wrist and bend over to the right. Inhale up tall. Exhale, grab your right wrist, bend over to the left. Inhale tall. As you exhale, let your right hand slide back, twist your body to the right wall. Try to keep your hips square. Inhale tall. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale tall. Exhale, let's find a chair sit with a cactus arm. So really arching the back and then slowly start to melt your belly towards your thighs inch by inch, coming into this nice forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway, create space between belly and thigh. And as you exhale, bend your knees and try to connect your belly to your thighs. Let your head release down, take your feet a little bit wider and grab opposite elbows. Let's just get nice and long here. Give a little sway side to side. Take a breath. Feel the sensation of your spine hanging. One more inhale. And exhale, release the arms. Give your legs a little shake. We're coming to the close of our practice today, Tower Yogis. Go ahead and make your way down to the ground. This can be a great moment if you need to pause the video for a second, if there's a stretch that your body really needs to explore before you're ready to meditate or to lay down in Shavasana, please, please, please take the time to do that. Otherwise, settle in with me, bring it down, bring it in, laying on the floor or finding your meditative seat. Slowly find the posture that feels restful and supportive to your body. If you're still feeling a little anxious, if the mind is feeling a little busy, we can bring our hands on our body. Otherwise, just let everything settle and find the eyes softly gazing or closed. Just return to a normal breath Notice if you're tensing the muscles between your eyebrows. Notice if the eyelids are feeling active. Maybe they can become a little heavier. Notice if your neck is working too hard to hold your head up. Start to notice the texture of your clothes touching your skin and the pressure of your body pushing into the floor. Notice any sounds that you can hear, any smells, any tastes. When your 
your eyes are closed. Can we see anything? Feel connected deeply with your body and your five senses, putting our feelers out into the world. When you're ready, start to bring movement back into your fingers and your toes. Maybe loosen up your neck and take any stretch that calls out to you, maybe a big full body, maybe a wiggle or a shake. If you're laying on the floor, let's return to sitting. If you can make your way gently, moving slow. And if you'd like, we can end our practice today with our palms together in front of our heart. I like to always end my classes with an expression of gratitude. So let's bow our chin inward towards our heart. Let's take this moment to thank the inner teacher that lives within each one of us your body for supporting you not only through this yoga practice today but through every day of your life thank your mind for having the discipline to show up and pursue practicing yoga at home and lastly I thank you so much for joining me and trusting me to guide you today may you be happy may you be healthy namaste